Hi everybody, it's me, Beth Maitland from Drama Queen Bee Quilt Studio, and I'm out running errands with my daughter Emmy, and <clears throat> it is a very windy, very blustery day, been spitting rain all day and causing all kinds of havoc at home, um, <laughs> so we're at, um, we're out at the home store, Lowe's and Home Depot, looking for tarps and stuff to um, better suit our situation at home. Anyway, while she's in the store looking, I thought I would say hello, um, just for a few minutes. I had meant to cut into my Liberty fabric today, but I hadn't quite gotten around to it. But no worries, I will this afternoon. Um, and maybe we will, in a little while, have a little recording of music from Emmy. Um, she's going to do a recording session this afternoon when we get home and get everything tarped uh, from the rain. Excuse me. Um, when you have horses, you have to tarp hay and you have to tarp. I mean, there's all kinds of weird farmy things that happen. But anyway, um, she's going to be recording some. Um, it's almost St. Patrick's Day, so she's going to be recording some Celtic music. And I'm really excited about it. And then she'll do a little video and she'll have it up on social media. Um, maybe I'll put a tag in the uh, description box so that you guys, if you're interested, can pop on over to her station and her website. She has a YouTube little channel uh, as well as a website where you can watch uh, her play. She's very clever. She does all the recording up in our, um, our little living room in our wee cottage. And then she does all the videoing and plays with her along with herself and plays duets with herself. She plays all the parts. So she does all the arrangements. Um, she figures out what she, she picks the music. So she does the program. She does all the arrangements for bassoon, even if it's not meant for bassoon. She rewrites everything for the bassoon range. And then she plays all of the different parts, four, six, two. I mean, it depends on the piece. Um, and then after the music is the way she wants it, then she plays the, she records the videotape and does the editing and all of it. And it's just, um, so awesome, which brings me to creativity. She's being so creative and she's using her time well while we're locked down and in quarantine and she can't play in, in, um, you know, any venues or anything as a musician and lots of, uh, online stuff is happening. Recording sessions and things are starting to happen and open up to a slightly larger group group gatherings. Um, it went from four to six to eight. Now it's a few more than that we'll be able to gather when she records in a couple of weeks for the San Luis Obispo Symphony concert in April. Um, but it is so um, interesting how creativity has kept so many of us focused and moving forward and feeling positive. The other thing that I was thinking about about creativity, any any kind. It doesn't have to be quilting or music. It can be scrapbooking or letter writing. It can be cooking. It can be doing needlework or knitting or crocheting. It can be painting home deck projects. It can be flower arranging and woodworking. Anything creative tends to lead us down a road toward empathy and thoughtfulness. Do you agree? I've, I've been thinking about that a lot lately, that making things cause us to, I mean, you can only make so many things for yourself. So it causes us to start wanting to make things for others. And what that does then is start, even if, even if for a while you make what you want and give it to somebody else, eventually you get to a place where you start thinking about what they might like, their favorite colors, what room it's for, what you know, use it's for how they would use it at their office or in their kitchen or in their bedroom. You start thinking about the other person and it really encourages thoughtfulness, mindfulness, uh, consideration. And <clears throat> that's one of the most interesting and positive side benefits of being a creative spirit that I can think of. And I wanted to talk about that today and just mention that today that, um, all of you creators out there, sewists and knitters and crocheters and needleworkers, quilters, all of you people who love to make things, make things for others. Charity quilts, the Linus Project, there are so many places that we can use our talents to help others, even just as simple as, you know, gifts that we make for our family and friends. It helps us think outside of ourselves. And isn't that what's sort of saving us in this time? Being able to, and 
I went through this phase too. I think everyone I know went through this phase, a, a momentary phase where we were so overwhelmed with the circumstances that it was all about us trying to get through it and survive it. But pretty soon you get past that and you start thinking about how others are dealing with it. You start learning ways, developing skills, whether they're internet skills or writing skills or phone calling skills to reach out to other people and check on them. You want to know how your family's doing if you can't be with them. You want to know how your friends are coping. Even if you can't be sitting across the coffee table from them, you can call on the phone. You can FaceTime. You can Zoom meeting. You can, um, you can Facebook video chat. You can find ways to reach out to the people that are important to you in your life to check on them and think about them. And that's what makers do. They do a whole lot of, of, um, uh, creative thought, design, development, investigation, and um, planning so that they can make the just the right thing for some other people, for the recipient of their efforts. Um, even if it's to sell. I mean, a lot of you maybe make things that you sell on websites or Etsy or, um, or in boutiques or shops or whatever. And this time has sort of stopped a lot of that, although everybody who uses shippers, <laughs> um, UPS and FedEx and the Postal Service, although overwhelmed and perhaps not operating to their best abilities, um, have been completely swamped. So because everybody needs to have home delivery now, everybody orders things sent to their door because we can't go out and shop for it. We can't go to the marketplace. So we have to bring the marketplace to us. And it's a similar thing with makers. I, I wonder how many of you have opened up Etsy shops during this quarantine. You mention it to me in the comments if you don't mind. You know, tell me if, you've, if you have an Etsy shop, um, put the link in if you'd like um, so that other people can read the comments and maybe find you. Um, or if you have a little website or if you have some kind of Facebook page that you that you want to promote, um, you might as well just put it in the comments below and put a little link to it so we can all find you and take a look. I'm finding that the comments I'm learning a whole lot about, um, you guys are really helping me expand my awareness. For example, the last um, post I made was the Liberty Fabric reveal. And somebody said, oh yes, I'm, I'm following Jenny Smith J E N N I Jenny Smith and her and her Liberty journey and apparently she's one of the design team for Liberty Fabrics uh, so look her up on her YouTube channel and if you those people that are interested in Liberty in my little talk about Liberty Fabrics you can learn a whole lot if you just find Jenny Smith and take a look at she even does little show and tells about the new line that's coming out seasonally. So I think that she's actually got something pretty recent about what's coming out next month for the spring, um, for the spring collection. So that's kind of fun. Um, but uh, it's amazing how many things we've learned from each other just in this short time of me, of me vlogging in the comment section. So um, feel free to post a little promotion or a little um, mention or whatever. Um, if you have some place you would like us to visit and take a look at your your things, um, even if it's uh, it used to be they used to do something on I want to say it was Flickr or something like that. There was a, a a website that was just like a photo collection place, like a social media place you could send people to look at all of your pictures of your process of making a quilt or fifteen different um, close ups of the different blocks or your process or whatever. Is it Flickr page? Was that right? It was like Pinterest in a way, but it was your collections you could share. Um, so there's lots of places all over um, where we can learn from each other and share from each other and continue our outreach at staying connected through our creativity. Consider what, what someone else would appreciate. Um, be empathetic. Be um, um, considerate and thoughtful. All just as part of our creative process. I love that about creators, about makers. So I wanted to sort of honor that today in my little, um, in my little vlog. And I want to be sure and leave a little space um, at the end here for my daughter's music. If I can sneak and like plant my plant my uh, camera in the room where she's recording and see if we can get a little Celtic music sample today. So I'm going to, I'm going to sign off and uh, in a few minutes and I'm going to leave a little space. So for my 15 minute limit, I'm trying to be really pretty, uh, pretty good to get close to that. I'm going to leave a little space for my little Emmy to uh, play some music for us. So that'll be fun. Um, so celebrate today your creativity 
and celebrate that it also reinforces your kindness, your generosity, your empathy, your consideration of others, and an expression of your love to all the people that are important to you in your life or in your journey. It might be your customers, it might be your family, your friends, good for you. And uh, post your link down below, subscribe and like if you so desire. Um, I, I am still kind of exploring where this all takes us with this vlogging, but I'm trying to do every two or three days a little, a little uh, something to just chat about. And um, creativity and kindness and giving and empathy all being tied together were my thoughts for the day. So Thank you for joining me in my daughter's car on our errands <laughs> in the wind and the spattering rain. I uh, hope you all are safe, dry, warm. Make something today. Be creative and uh, share your gifts with all of my very best. Enjoy a little bit of music and uh, I'll be back in a few days. This is Beth Maitland with Drama Queen Bee Quilt Studio. Thank you for watching.